and play my game, um, help the guys out, uh, and hopefully uh, contribute something on the ice that I brought back in the days when I was playing. So uh, uh, it's many points to play for, and, and I want to come back here and, and give a good playoff push. For How sure. does it feel today compared to the other day when you were uh, skating and, and thought about maybe playing? It's getting better every day. Um, obviously, it was. Uh, it's been a painful couple of months here. Um, sitting in the press box is nothing you want to do, really. Um, so I'm just very, very excited to, to, to play the game tonight, for sure, and come back just to be in the locker room with the guys, talking with them and, and be a part of the team is, is, um, is something that I've been missing a lot. The progress since Friday or Saturday when you were close to playing, is it just a little stronger, is it a little less pain? What's happened in the last five days? It's just um, the range of motion, the finger spin, pretty stiff um, obviously when I had some pins and stuff in it so um, but like I said it's, it's improving every day and it feels better for every day out there so uh, right now I'm just want to focus on tonight's game and, and do a good game not that these guys have been playing flat but they, it seems like they just need that you know obviously that extra little extra help and, and you, that's something that you could obviously provide uh, coming back come back into the lineup yeah for sure I mean hopefully I can I, I can help you guys um, it's been it's been some frustrating times uh, for the whole team and, and for me obviously sitting in the press box watching the guys play um, I have uh, a lot of uh, how she said I trust these guys and there's many many games to play for it's a lot of points uh, it's very tight it's just a matter of some points so um, every game is going to be uh, a playoff game for now on and I um, I want to be part of this team and help them as much as I can how long do you think the balance between waiting long enough that you could be effective enough, you know, but also understanding the team needed you? You've, you've played injured before and not 100% where you couldn't do the things you wanted to do. So how did you strike that balance this time and where are you at? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's really tough. It's, it's, uh, it's, uh, I'm in a tough situation. Obviously, last year was a very tough year for me mentally. Uh, first off, if it was something I learned from last year is, you come to a point where you cannot really play your game, but you want to be out there and help the guys as much as you can. But it comes to a point where, when you, if you don't play your game and are close to 100%, you're better off off the ice, right? So we have a, a lot of uh, a lot of defensemen in this room that I have confidence in, and and I think they can do a good job. Uh, but right now, I want to be out there and help the guys as much as I can. How long do you think it'll take to get kind of up to game speed and, and, and find your timing and, and things like that? Um, I don't know. It's it's tough to say. Um, I've been out some some longer times before, um, but it's kind of it, it's always a little tough in the beginning to to uh, to get the timing for it. And, and obviously, it's like I said, it's going to be a playoff game from the from the first second here. So I have to do my best to be ready and when the puck drops, and hopefully, I can help the guys tonight. It's all right. Uh, the shooting for sure, shooting and passing. But uh, I, I got to play smart. I, I got to find a way to 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 help the guys as much as I can on the ice and and play a smart hockey game. Are you limited in anything that you think you can do right now? Um, not really. Otherwise, I wouldn't be be able to to play a hockey game. Like I said, if, if it was something I learned from last year, if I'm not good enough to play, I wouldn't put myself in that situation that I'm gonna take someone else's spot and, and do a a 50% job that I that I can do so um, I think I'm good to go and I think I can help the guys like uh, like I said earlier uh, I want to be out there if I can help the guys and, and and help them to a playoff push and that's what I think I can do right now. Oscar Drake was a popular guy in this room and he comes back tonight uh, potentially likely playing on that first line so you'll probably be seeing him a lot he's a guy who plays with sandpaper likes to bang quite a bit so uh, are you are you ready to be facing him a lot all, all night tonight? Yeah, I don't like playing against him really. He was uh, he was a great guy on the on the practices um, every day. He's a hell of a guy outside the outside the rink too. I really like him as a person and, and a hockey player. Uh, so it's going to be very interesting to to play against Drake for the first time here, especially here in Rogers. It's going to be it's going to be uh, different for him too. I think it's going to be very special for all of us. Um. Better hands than most of the players in the league. Um, he's probably the guy that can find those passing lanes that nobody can see on the ice except for him. So uh, you got to be play play um, play hard and, and a tight game on him. Um, you cannot really focus too much on him too because he can make you look dumb out there if you give him too much time. So. Um, 
But we played him before, and, and, and most of the guys in here have been playing against them before, so we should just focus on our game here. And then I think we've been taking some steps in the right direction, so we're just going to focus on our game, and hopefully we can come up with two points. Is he the one player in the league that 